In this video, you will learn how to use the different waveform and plot settings available in PSPICE. First, let's add a piecewise linear source to this buck converter circuit. You can configure a piecewise linear source part by accessing the modeling application. Now, we will connect the voltage source to this text file which contains a time voltage relationship. For example, at 0 milliseconds, the voltage value is 100 and at 0.5 milliseconds, the voltage value is 98, and so on. Browse for and select the notepad file with the time voltage information. Place the PWL source on the schematic. Adding a current marker here will display the inductor current waveform once the simulation is run. Now, run the simulation. By right-clicking on the waveform and selecting trace property from the list, you can make changes to the width or color of the waveform. Note that the color of the current marker on the schematic has changed to the same color as the waveform. If you want to plot the output voltage waveform on a different y-axis, which is on the right side of the probe window, you can simply right-click and select Add Y-axis. To access the y-axis position and title settings, go to Plot again and select Axis Settings. Select Axis Position as Right and name the axis as Output Voltage. Add the waveform for output voltage on this axis by clicking on the Add Trace icon and selecting V out from the trace list. PSPICE has the ability to retrieve the previous plot settings even when you make any changes to the schematic. Enable Last Plot from the Probe Window settings in the simulation setup. Rerun the simulation. Notice that the previous simulation settings have been retained. If you wish to add a waveform, let's say for diode current on a different plot in this window, right-click and select Add Plot to Window. Now click on the Add Trace icon and select ID2 from the list. X and Y axis limits can simply be changed by going to the axis settings. For example, give a user-defined X axis range from 3 milliseconds to 4 milliseconds. Now, the waveforms are displayed on the updated x-axis range. You can quickly zoom out to go back to your previous axis settings. You can set a different x-axis range for one of the plots. For this example, let's set a different x-axis range for the top plot. To do this, select the unsynchronized x-axis option under Plot. Now, you can control the x-axis of these plots separately. You have successfully learned how to utilize the various waveform and plot settings available within PSPICE.